So what we're going to be talking about today is on how to treat impetigo and what your doctors will not advise you to do so that your symptoms do not come back. Now impetigo is a bacterial infection of the skin due to staphylococcus and group A streptococcus and it is commonly seen on the face particularly around the lower part of the face, such as the nose and the mouth, and can spread to other areas such as your arms, chest and legs. Impetigo appears as a yellow or crusty patch or sores, usually 10 days after exposure to the bacteria. It can be seen in children, usually pre-school age children around the age of 2 to 5. They usually notice running nose and what they sometimes do is that they will use their hands to clear the running nose and they're touching other parts of their face and their body and that's how the impetigo usually spreads. You can also see impetigo in adults who have eczema or dermatitis where they might have cracks or cuts in the skin and these are the point of entry for the bacterial infection. If the impetigo is in a local area, for example such as between the nose and the mouth, then usually this can be treated with topical local antibiotics or if the impetigo is severe or widespread, your doctor would usually prescribe oral antibiotics to take for about seven days. But however, what a lot of people have noticed is that despite treatment, they have what we call recurrent impetigo, where the symptoms keep coming back. And why is this? Well, basically what a lot of doctors do is they will just give you a script of antibiotics, but they're not giving you further advice on how to prevent the impetigo from coming back. So some of the steps that are needed to prevent impetigo from coming back would be using an antiseptic wash solution such as hippie scrub. Hippie scrub is something that you can actually buy online or over the counter. You should use it to wash all parts of your body at least once a day for five to seven days. And this is because it's quite common for bacteria to colonize parts of the skin. And what happens is when you're touching this part of the skin, this can cause recurrence of your impetigo. Also inside the nostril is a common area where you normally find bacteria. So what a lot of children do is they tend to pick their nose and they touch other parts of the body, which can lead to impetigo. So usually your doctor will be expected to prescribe you an antibiotic nasal cream that you can apply to both nostrils to help prevent the spread of infection. Also avoid touching other areas of the body to prevent spread. You want to avoid sharing items such as clothing and towels. Avoid picking your nose. And it's quite important that in recurrent impetigo, skin swabs are taken because in some cases, the bacteria might be resistant to the antibiotic that you're prescribed. So skin swabs will help to show the type of bacteria and what antibiotic that the bacteria is sensitive to. For some people, when taking antibiotics, they might need a longer course of antibiotics to clear the infection. So rather than having one week's course, your doctor might have to consider giving you a two week's course of antibiotics to clear the infection. So these are some of the things that your doctor might not do. So next time you have impetigo or impetigo that keeps coming back after treatment, why not you suggest to your doctor some of the steps that I have recommended. So if you like this video, please feel free to share and subscribe.